Hey, what's up, y'all? It's RC Poetic Soul or Poetic Soul. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling out there? It's another day that we have on this earth that we should be thankful for. You know, I'm still, I'm still feeling some kind of way. I'm still feeling, you know, looking real rough. Been working a lot been writing a lot and um yesterday's news just kind of sent me spiraling spiraling into just grief and sorrow um it felt it felt like nipsey hustle all over again it's like you don't know them but you know of them and you love and you respect say the music or the talent that they had uh with Kobe on a basketball court um I will always remember when he made that buzzer beater against the Suns uh Steve Nash's son uh Phoenix Suns that year and um that was a highlight and he loved playing in the all-star game um it's NBA not going to be the same for me, really. It's not. Um, right now, I can honestly tell you guys that sometimes, and I know this is true, sometimes we we follow these celebrities and we grow up with them and, and we become so attached to these celebrities. We, we, um, it's hard to deal with deal with it when they're gone um they affect so many of us influence so many of us in so many different ways um a lot of them influence positively positivity uh <laughs> positively influence us whether they know it or not um it's so much negativity in the world and to see a guy with kobe's grit and determination and you know his competitive nature that fire that he had it's almost unmatched, unparalleled by all athletes except with except for Michael Jordan, um, who um ironically was Kobe's uh mentor. Um I don't like prefer to use the word idol, so I choose mentor, but it's uh it's still a rough day, but and it's gonna be a rough time, but I am able to um just you know, God don't make mistakes, so everything he took all those passages. Oh my god. Excuse me. But he took all those passengers for a reason. And Kobe's daughter also perished in the helicopter crash. And um that's really upsetting. But it's part of life. But it's very, very damaging because um she was the hair to his legacy. Um, she was amazing talent. Um, she could have been like the, the next Candace Parker, if not even better. And it's more than that. She she was just a beautiful human being and a person with a lot of life to live. And now she's gone. And um, Kobe is my second favorite NBA player of all time. And, and not just that, I really connected uh, with him on a uh, level of him being uh, introverted a lot of his career, um, not really mingling and meshing with a lot of people, uh, just kind of staying off being his, doing his own thing. Uh, he was an avid, insatiable reader. Um, he was a writer. So many things I just feel like I could connect with him on. And, you know, I always will say that I grew up and I was, I was, um, I was thankful enough to to have seen uh, 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 Michael Jordan play ball and to have seen Kobe play ball and also have seen LeBron play ball. So, you know, that's really, really, um, those are three greats, three um, top 10 greatest uh, ball players of all time. So no matter what, to have witnessed that um, is an amazing spectacle to uh, have behold. And, um, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate, very tragic. Uh, prayers for VB, Vanessa Bryant. Prayers for, you know, his remaining daughters. Um, I can't.
can't I can't even begin to tell y'all how much it really, really bothers me that his siblings will have to grow up without their big sister. And um it's just it's just rough. It's gonna be rough. And I know I know that for me personally there's a lesson to be learned and death puts everything into perspective. We know it doesn't matter who you are, what you have, what cars you have, what jewelry you have, what house you have. When you got to go, when it's time for your clock to be punched, you're up and you're out. You know, um, Kobe Bryant and Gigi Bryant, if I could say anything to you guys right now, I would, I would say thank you. Thank you for being amazing people. Thank you for being amazing, wonderful human beings, beautiful souls. I appreciate you guys, Kobe especially, for, for the dedication, for the many brilliant performances uh, you put on. And, you know, your daughter didn't have a long time to be here, but she was doing some amazing things, and she was on her way to superstardom in life and on the basketball court. And uh, I don't know. You know, I hope you guys, I hope you, I hope you, you, you know, like I said, I had a little brief dream yesterday that said that you, you, you told her, and you, hopefully you hugged her. But in a dream, you said, daddy loves you. And you, you, you said a quick prayer. And, um, and then, you, and then that was it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, please don't be insensitive, guys, because you know why you shouldn't be insensitive, because we all must go. And sometimes people get caught up in yesterday, somebody, or I don't know, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to leave that alone, but I'm, I'm going to say this, you know, if you if you feel like a celebrity, like with Aaliyah, left out Tupac, uh, and they died, Nipsey Hussle, I took that hard. Cried when Nipsey died. I was too young when left out died and Pac and Aaliyah, and it hurt, but I didn't quite get what it meant. Um, but I understood exactly what it meant, but I didn't quite, it didn't register like with Nipsey. It hit me because his, his, his last album, Victory Lap, kept me motivated when I was going through everything I was going through, it kept me going. And, and um, you know, watching Kobe, growing up, watching him, backing up Eddie Jones, Nick Van Nexel, you know, the, the, the lean years, the first year when he was airballing it. I read his books, and, you know, and, and seen him play. I miss you, man. Always, man. I miss you forever, man. Kobe, you all the time great, man. And it's sad you gone. I hate you had to go. I hate your daughter had to go. But God got you. And in this world, we all got to go. So I just want to say, guys, hold on. Stay strong. Tell somebody you love them today. Keep your head up. If you're going through it too, just know I'm here. In the comment sections, you want to talk about it, we can. You know, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank y'all for watching. Y'all keep y'all heads about that. Peace out.